I don't wear comfortable shoes. I refuse to wear comfortable shoes and you shouldn't wear comfortable shoes either. I know that sounds crazy. Stick with me for a minute. You'll see what I mean. Because look, you know there's things that you like to eat that taste really good but aren't good for you. Well, guess what? It's the same thing with footwear. There's things that feel really good but aren't good for you and there's even research that backs that up. So let's talk about the two things that people find most comfortable in comfortable shoes. Cushioning and art support. So, cushioning first. First, hey, it feels really good. You put your feet in, it's like you're stepping on a memory foam mattress. That's cool, except that A, uh, memory foam mattresses aren't great for you if you're walking, running, hiking, or doing pretty much anything. Imagine doing push ups or squat jumps or trying to run or walk on memory foam. Again, it can feel good when you're standing there, but it's actually sucking the energy out of your legs because all foam sucks energy out of your body. It doesn't give you energy return, it just has different levels of energy suck. And you wouldn't want to try and do squat jumps, you wouldn't try to run on memory foam. Same thing that happens when you put some of that in your shoe. Also, that foam breaks down really quickly. They tell you that you're supposed to replace your shoes in three to 500 miles. The foam is actually starting to break down in as little as 100 miles. And when it does, it can change the way your joints line up, which can lead to pain in pretty much all of your joints. So let's talk about the second thing, arch support. Why does arch support feel good? Because when your arch is supported, you're not using the muscles, ligaments, and tendons in your foot. So they're relaxing. Relaxing feels good, but do you want to be relaxed? Is that actually good for you? It's actually not because it's not letting your arch do its job of being strong and supporting you. Think of it this way. If you broke your arm and it was in a cast for eight weeks, it doesn't magically come out stronger. It comes out atrophied. Well, the same thing happens when your foot is getting supported, supported with an arch. Research shows that if you put arch support in the shoes of healthy individuals, they lose up to 17% of the muscle mass in their feet in as little as 12 weeks. Is there a time you can think of when weaker is better than stronger? I can't either. Oh, there's a third thing related to comfort, kind of, because almost all those comfortable shoes have pointy toe boxes. Is your foot shaped like this? If it is, it's not supposed to be. And think about the value of not doing this with your feet. If you're going to do push-ups, you don't do this, you do this. Because having your, feet, your fingers spread out gives you better balance and better strength. Same thing with your feet. You want your toes to be able to spread out so they give you better balance and strength and agility and mobility. So what do you do for true natural comfort? Well, when my wife and I discovered this, we started a shoe company. We call it Zero Shoes because they get out of the way to let your body do what's natural with a wider foot-shaped toe box, low to the ground for balance and agility, super flexible to let your joints bend and flex and move the way they're supposed to, and a sole that gives you traction and protection, but also that ground feeling that you need so your brain knows what's happening with the rest of your body so it can help you move enjoyably and efficiently. So we hope you come and check out zeroshoes.com, discover what natural movement, natural comfort feels like so you can live life feet first.